leaves tastes good like a beer should. You said it. Lucky strike means fine tobacco. <laughs> Try a frosty cold glass of Bavarian right away. What's that you say? No boulder dash or baloney here. Cheers, everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentleman. And now, with a higher BAC than your ABV, Greg, Scott, and Dan. Oh, yeah. Mm. Welcome, everybody. Keeping the ABC in your BABs, and I don't even remember yeah. how that goes already. But welcome, everybody, to the Unfiltered Gentleman. We are live today. I am Greg. This is Scott. Hey. Oh, sorry. This is my bar voice. Hey, what's up, everybody? Yeah. <laughs> and that's Dan over there. What's up, everybody? Scott making the rear rear appearance. Rear appearance. Yes. Uh, yeah. They the rear very one also. seldom let me out. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for joining. We are here live at the local in Camarillo, California. Thanks to everybody here at the local for coming out. Thanks, guys. Yeah. 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 Thank you. And thanks to Mikey for having us. Mikey over there slinging uh, bars behind the beer behind the behind the bar. English <laughs> English is very hard already. <laughs> I may have warmed up before the show. If you know what I'm saying. It is a second language. It is. With drunk being the first. Yes, it's a second language behind many. Uh, So thank you guys for for coming out. Thanks for listening to those of you at home. Uh, We are the Unfiltered Gentlemen. We're going to drink some beer. We're going to talk a little beer. We're going to drink some more beer. And then we're going to watch you drink some beer because we have weird, weird issues. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you feel free to uh, just let us know. You can write them on a bar napkin and slip them. Same with phone numbers, bar <laughs> napkins. Slip them our way. You could also like tweet at me. I'll probably get it before the show's over. Or just uh, sign a blank check. We'd be happy. Yeah, yeah. There you, you go. Make sure you don't leave that little line blank. Um, but yeah, we'd love to answer your questions. Like I said, we're here at the local. You guys, if you're listening at home, come out to the local. You can find them at thelocalcamarillo.com. For those of you not from California, that's two L's, not a Y, <laughs> uh, as well as the local Camarillo on social media, 795 Camarillo Springs. Uh, that's sweet E. Um, I, I feel like we're getting a little dry up here. We need to just break yeah, right in. Yeah, we need a drink already. Yeah, yeah. please. I, uh, whew, I'm starting to sober up. Grab your libations, pal. I did that one. It's time for Beer <laughs> of the Week. And if you're drinking well, you know that you're my friend and I say. I think I'll have myself a beer. One or three. The gentleman, the, the beer closest to them. We are drinking as our beer of the week. We right. Made West's Jine. It's a hazy IPA, and it's just one of the delicious craft beers here on tap at the local. Uh, this baby is 6.8%. It's got mosaic, Simcoe, and Eureka hops in it. It is so freaking new and fresh that uh, Beer Advocate doesn't have anything about it. So thanks, Beer Advocate. <laughs> uh, from the brewery, they say, Sink your teeth into this hazy IPA packed with a jaw-dropping quantity of mosaic hops. This beer is bursting with ripe, juicy character you can smell from a mile away. Notes of fresh peaches, mango, and papaya. Don't mind the teeth. Jine is anything but sharp and delivers with a smooth, silky mouthfeel and refreshing finish. I couldn't agree more. What say you, fellas? I concur. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Our very uh, astute... Yes. Yeah, I've been on this uh, hazy IPA kick for a little bit. Uh, like I get that like uh, hazy little thing. Yes. Yeah, and that's so delicious. And this this is uh, that's what I'm on right now. The hazy stuff. And this has one of Dan's favorite words, which is great mouthfeel. Yes. Yeah. It makes me sound smart when I say that. Yeah. <laughs> I like beer. It's yeah. got great mouthfeel. Oh, yeah. You know what you're talking about. <laughs> now I can right. continue getting yeah. drunk. <laughs> yes. Back to being smart. Uh, yeah. This thing is great. It's real juicy up front. The hops are definitely in the back of this one. Now let's talk a little bit about hops. <laughs> let's talk about yes, hops will. indeed. Yes. Uh, has anybody in here had the Made West yet? The drawing? The hazy IPA? A couple of people. All, all right. right. All right. The tall guy in back is at it. Big man. Yeah. <laughs> big man. Uh, this thing is delicious. Uh, we have a couple more beers to get through throughout the show. We have a bit of a trivia contest in just a couple of you. So if anybody wants to win a shirt, I hope you have kept up on your Irish slang. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> I know I haven't. So anyways, uh, the World Cup is, is among us, is upon us. It's happening. It's happening. In fact, we were here early and we got to witness people freaking out over oh. the World Cup. <laughs> It was insane. Uh, I figure it's only appropriate to do a drinking game based on the World Cup. Why not? Because it's the World Cup, and that's the only way you're going to get me to watch it is if I'm drunk. <laughs> Any soccer fans here? Yeah. All, right. all right. Yeah, World Cup. We love it. Yeah, yeah. we all love the World here. Cup. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's Wally. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. We are being joined by the commissioner of the Boobs League. I'm sorry. Did you say Boobs League? I, that's what it sounded like. If, if sounded you like. didn't, I'm getting on that immediately. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll like, start listening to you. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> it's, already think, been, Scoot. it's already been copyrighted. <laughs> you got uh, cans there if you want them. No pressure. Mm. Oh, Speaking cans, of Boobs League. Boobs, I mean. Yeah. Okay. Boom. So we have the, uh, the World Cup drinking game. Followed by that, I think it's only appropriate if we have the Unfiltered Gentleman slash Booze League drinking game, mm-hmm. uh, which I'm hoping that all of you hold us to. So if you're watching the World Cup, take a sip whenever someone asks if you're skipping work to watch this game. Uh, take a sip every time an announcer mentions that the U.S. failed to qualify. <laughs> every time the only sound you can hear is the crowd chanting in unison. Uh, anytime someone lays on the ground looking injured... Probably not, actually. You're going to get hammered if you do that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's going yeah. yeah. to be terrible. Well, another... Brazil and Neymar are out. They, that guy was like famously it's, just... It's, he's like Harden it... of soccer, basically. You no, know, he's, Bla- <laughs> he's the Blake Griffin of it, soccer. Oh, yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, man, <laughs> my knee, my knee. Uh, every time a person gets up and seems totally fine, and every 30 seconds during extra time. Uh, you can also take a big gulp whenever someone scores a goal. Every, which you'll never get drunk. Yeah, that. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> so we're up doing that. Yeah. Every time there's a substitution, every time you see someone cry on camera, uh, whenever a player heads... <laughs> Happens a lot, actually. Yeah. <laughs> whenever a, play, a player pleads his case to the ref, whenever an announcer mentions Iceland if Iceland is not playing. Really? Yeah. Apparently, yeah. That happens, huh? It, it's a thing. Hmm. And we all witnessed it. Finish your drink if, uh, <laughs> if you have your own goal, and finish your drink right now if you don't know what your own goal is. That would be me. Uh, if Fox cuts to a pre taped segment about one of the countries playing the game, and if a red card is handed out, and finally, finish your drink if the game ends in a tie. Jeez. That's the only oh, time man. I get drunk. <laughs> always end in ties. All right. Wally's here. From yes. The commission of the Booze League. What's up, Tug? Yeah. Commish. I figure we had to make this official. Uh, we have the, what will now be official, Unfiltered yeah. Gentlemen Booze League drinking game. So if you're listening to... Now, is this, a, is this a drinking game, like, around the board, or is this only for, like, if we're watching World Cup together? No, no, no this has nothing to do Because that'll never happen. This, so. <laughs> this is only yeah. us related, because I love us. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm very into myself. Well, you are the BFF of the Booze League. That's so. true. BFF. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the blonde... Oh, uh, Beer friends hey, forever. Beer friends forever. Aww. Oh, oh God. Isn't it sweet? Wish I had romantic music for that. Oh, my Not God. Not you, Scoot. Wish I had <laughs> beer for that. Yeah. <laughs> Just Tug and Dan's beard. Other than yeah. that... I, I understand. <laughs> very continue to sit that far away from Greg. <laughs> I, I do look much older in person than I do on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got a face for radio. No I'm kidding. All right, so if you're listening to either of our podcasts, take a sip anytime someone burps. Oh, man. You get hammered. Take a sip anytime <laughs> Wiley hits a drop that interrupts someone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That one, that's actually pretty damn funny. Give <laughs> this man a beer. <laughs> take a sip anytime Sandro says, nice, you know, or super stoked. <laughs> <laughs> super stoked. Take a sip anytime Dan reviews a B horror flick, <laughs> and take a sip anytime Greg right. plays a Huel Hauser drop. Oh man! Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> take a big gulp anytime Wiley talks about some guy named Nick with his large private areas. Oh yeah! <laughs> what the average Dick Nick? Yeah. He's in the house right here, right over there. <laughs> oh, there it is! Oh, wow, ADN in the place. <laughs> uh, take a big gulp anytime Greg has issues with reading or speaking English. That's already happened a lot. <laughs> yeah. Eight times his dances boom or bang. <laughs> Happens more often than you think. <laughs> <laughs> Happens a lot. Probably more often than you realize. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Take a big gulp anytime Scott takes longer than the actual story to tell a Tales from Uber. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that takes a while. <laughs> Uh, I got to give all the details. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then some. Uh, anytime Dan <laughs> reviews a kung fu movie, anytime Sandro speaks Spanish, anytime oh. Greg says that's racist. And then anytime Scott says something racist. <laughs> and then finally, finish your drink. I'm not a racist. <laughs> finish your drink anytime it sounds like Scott burped up a small kitten. <laughs> oh, my God. That have been a couple weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. That got, was a whole litter. Yeah. <laughs> he got possessed. Uh, finish your drink anytime Greg plays the beer science song and nothing happens. <laughs> uh, finish your drink anytime Dan says, that's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's hammered. Uh, anytime Wiley throws back to a story of being at a Firestone Walker event. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, finish your drink anytime Sandro puts you to sleep while talking about the World Cup. 
No. Oh. We kid, Sandro. We <laughs> we kid because we love. Yes. Oh God. I like that. There's a lot of finish your drink rules. Yeah. 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 There, it's a little uh, finish your drink heavy. Yeah. You <laughs> there know. might be a reason for that. <laughs> yeah. Our game is fun. Yeah. 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 You got to send me a copy of that so we can publish it on Booze League. I, I think that needs yeah. to be official. I hope everyone here holds us to these standards. Uh, please yell out at me or something if I. You know, need to take a drink. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep hitting it over and over How again. hops get in your blood? Yeah. <laughs> I won't stop you. Yeah, no, no let's keep drinking. So, uh, Wiley, did I forget anything to add to the Booze League Unfiltered Gentleman? I don't know. I'm kind of on the spot here. Um, uh, sorry, I could yeah, have no prepped you, but that'd be less fun. No, no, yeah, no. Uh, nothing that uh, comes to mind off the top of my head, but I'll think about it and, you know. Yeah, you get back to me. I'll get back to you. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Uh, Wiley, are you a fan of Irish slang? I love Irish slang. Who doesn't? Yeah, talk Irish dirty to me. <laughs> no, that'd be Mikey's job. We got to oh, play some okay. of that shillelagh music that was playing <laughs> earlier. Right? Oh yeah, I got that <laughs> it's on business standby. time. There it is. Yeah, it's like being at home. Uh, does anybody here want to win a official unfiltered gentleman shirt? All right, three people. <laughs> that's more than last time. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a 300% increase, man. I think so, yeah. That's, 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 wow. actually, that's actually four or more than last time. <laughs> yeah, we are popular. Uh, anyways, we have a trivia game. Anybody who wants to play, raise your hand. Uh, all right, we got, we got... All right, get on over here. Dodgers hat. Anybody here. who wants to play, either raise your hand or don't. Yes. Oh, man, it's everybody. That's great. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> All right, here's, Come here's on, the, don't be shy. Go cozy up to Wiley's microphone over there. You can even sit on his lap him. if you like. Yeah. It's kind of why I brought him up here. I know he likes men on his lap. Yeah, there you go. I'm not Dan. <laughs> oh, yeah, listen to me. All right, c- grab that microphone if you would, or, or get close to it. Uh, I do need some uh, official music for this. All right, so I've got, uh, I've got a few words here, a few uh, phrases. If you get half of them correct, T-shirt's yours. Otherwise, we move on to the next person. <laughs> yeah. yeah. On the lash. What does it mean to on the lash? Uh, take a guess. Take a shot? That's, oh. not, that's close-ish. Not quite. It means to go out drinking. Oh. And Mikey's back there like, these are all crap. <laughs> 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 Wikipedia is the worst. Uh, let's see, what else? Crake. Crack. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Don't have a clue. Oh. Have a good time. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Great love. Yeah. Sister. <laughs> yeah. All right. Does that count? Do you get it right? Get it right. <laughs> uh, and finally, what a ride. <laughs> <laughs> you want a mic? <laughs> when she was done? <laughs> All right, so what a ride means a super sexy girl. Oh, well, uh, there you go. All right. You got right. a winner over here, I man. I think so. <laughs> well, I think he's cheating. <laughs> he has a slight unfair advantage. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. I'm sorry. You did. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry my uh, Irish pronunciation was way too horrible. I must kick you out of the game now. Oh, uh, <laughs> all right. Move Thanks on. Thanks for the assist, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He tried. A forever. Anybody yeah, else like try. to give it a shot? It's hard, man. I know. It's a rough. Say what? You said it had to get somebody right, right? Oh, yeah. Here, grab that mic. Yeah, that's kind of tricky. What's your name? Anthony. 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 Here, here we go, Anthony. Let's give this a shot. What does it mean when someone has boss eyes? Has say it again? Boss. Like your boss at work. Boss eyes. Boss eyes. Means, um... He's kind of being a... I don't know if you can curse on it, right? <laughs> Go ahead. He's kind of being a dick? Uh, not quite. It's, uh, it's a person with a squint. Oh. Huh. So, you know, you might, uh, might have had a few at the pub. You got boss eyes. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> All right. The Jacks. It's kind of the same thing. If you're going to the Jacks. <laughs> going to the Jacks? The Jacks. Um, going to the bar. Pisser. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which one is it? Pisser. Yeah, it's the pisser. You got it. You got it. <laughs> With a slight assist. Uh, acting the maggot. Uh, acting like a fool. 
pretty much being a jerk. I'll give him that one. That's a good one. Yeah. If you get this one right, you get the shirt. Boom. What does it mean when you're laying boots? Getting down. <laughs> no, I mean, like, yeah. Probably. Not, Get it on, maybe? Yeah. Hey, the judge says yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have here or that or it means it? to okay. kick someone when they're down. No. Oh. Oh. Is that totally wrong? <laughs> you can tell me it is. Yeah, ask the real judge over yeah, here. Yeah, the real judge. Yeah. The actual Irish guy. This guy from the town or something. Like that. Just give him one more. Here, there seems to be some, uh, so. some discussion about that. All right, we'll give you one more. Okay. What happens when you are langered? When you're langered, yeah. you're you're hammered. There it is. Oh, yeah, all right. Right. Yeah. Nice. Anthony gets himself the most valuable shirt in all of podcasting history. Uh, go over and see the lovely Shannon. We'll see if you, we have your size. If not, then you don't get a shirt. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming up. Wiley snuck away while we were doing that. Wiley, thank you for joining us and making this official. Uh, also, thank you to Wiley for helping to set up this whole thing with uh, the local and, and Mikey and everything. Yeah. Um, all right. So... We have, as per usual, if you're a listener of the show, we've got some booze news to get to. But before that, um, I don't know about you gentlemen, but I am out of beer. And yeah. I need pretty to make close, a call to the right hand or the pen. All right. <laughs> he calls to the bullpen for beer. Yes, he does. All right. So next up, we have a Kilt Lifter, which is a Scottish style ale. It's from Four Peaks Brewing. Uh, from the brewery, says, Kilt Lifter is our award-winning flagship brew, crafted in the tradition and honor of the great strong ales of Scotland. Take one sip and you'll swear it had been brewed by men in kilts. And maybe it was. Uh, it's a full-bodied ale with the pronounced flavors of caramel and roasted barley. Notice its amber color, malty sweetness, and a hint of smokiness with a clean, dry finish. That's a true Scottish-style ale. Uh, it's 6%, 21 IBUs. Uh, this is just so easy to drink. I know someone over there was drinking one earlier, and uh, I can also see that it's quite empty. Oh, another person drinking oh. it. Yeah. Kilt Lifter is popular in here. Anybody else drinking a Kilt Lifter today? No? All right. We got two. That's just as many as want to play the game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> can't blame me. No. Uh, this is really good. It's uh, nice and caramely up front. Finish is super clean. Hmm. I got to say, mine looks a little different. Yours does look a little... That might not be a kilt lift. Oh, okay. It's, it's that one right there if you want to reach across. <laughs> oh, okay. Kilt one. Or this one? Swap spit or something. For yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, it'll be cute. Um, all right, that is kilt. We got one more straw. beer to get to before the show is over. Uh, that is good. I think it's time we get on to a little booze news. Extra, extra, drink all about it. It's time for booze news. Is anybody taking a trip to Europe anytime soon? England specifically? No, no. Thank God, because they are running out of CO2, which means they are rationing beer. Oh. Yes. What? Beer rationing is happening in Europe as we speak. They're limiting people to, get this, 10 cases per day. What the hell? What's <laughs> going what? on over That's there? It? Yeah. Oh, man. That's was, worse than a drought. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I could sober up on that. I know. How would you drive for uh, Uber? Yeah. No kidding. Oh, my God. I couldn't. You they might could. drive straight at that Forget point. about those starving kids. Send these people some alcohol. Yeah, yeah. please. Get these get these people some CO2. No uh, thank God we're in California. We only have, beer. We only have to worry about water. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just water. Yeah, beer is fine. Yeah, yeah. Our beer is good. Oh, we can man. ship it in from other states. We're, we're plenty of CO2. We're, we're fine over here. Uh, just another reason why I back Ron Swanson and his hatred for Europe. Yeah. No mm-hmm. kidding. Wow. What a, what a trip. That's, that's dangerous. Yeah, that is, uh, that is dicey. I feel for him. Especially in the middle of a World Cup. What are those pubs doing? No kidding. Oh, man. Woo. All right. Anybody uh, fans of Deschutes here? Deschutes Brewery? There you yeah. go. There we go. Deschutes is moving to the east. Well, they're they're opening up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, one person. <laughs> Down with the shoots. Oh man, uh, the shoots has bought a 49 acre plot of wow. land in Roanoke, Virginia. Uh, they're going to open Ooh. up over there, and I'm sure because that's on the East Coast, it was like seven dollars instead of out here in California where it's. And I have uh, relatives close to there. Oh well, I guess you'll be moving. I guess I'll finally pay them a visit after <laughs> yeah. all these years. <laughs> They've been trying for 40 years to get you to go back there. <laughs> now I will. They're going to call you. Hey, Deschutes is opening. Well, I'm on my way. Be right over. <laughs> um, I thought this one was very important to talk about with Dan here. Uh, Burger King and Budweiser have <laughs> collaborated on a burger. As if you didn't hate Burger King enough. That's the already. worst news ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's even worse than England. 
Yeah, it is. At this point. Um, they're collaborating on what they're calling the American Brew House King Sandwich. Wow. It's got a Budweiser based sauce in it. That's terrible. Yeah. I it's, want no part of that. <laughs> but I bet you their, their marketing team is going to make it look so good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're going to get everybody like, oh, like I swear, they, Burger King has the best marketing team ever. They, they look better than everybody, but that burger is so freaking sad when you order it. <laughs> yeah. The worst burger ever. Dan's going to be watching the commercial like, not only does that look good, yeah. I sort of want a Budweiser. Yeah, I do. Yeah. It's true. And they're going to do gonna it. Go. Yeah. They're going to do it. Fool I don't know wants. what it is. If the black background or whatever, but. Maybe. They're, they're, they're crazy with the green screen there. Yeah. Yeah. Fool me once, Dan. Shame on me. Yeah. Never again. Never Fool again. Fool me twice. <laughs> whatever that means. Never again. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Nobody, uh, nobody go over that burger, please. Um, New Belgium. Oh, this is so good. Fans of New Belgium Brewing? Okay, a couple right people. Mm-hmm. That's okay. good. Come on. Does anybody here enjoy partaking in the uh, recreational marijuana scene? Oh. There's way more people for that. Yeah. Uh, who, yeah. who said marijuana? Yeah. <laughs> well, people that are fans of both New Belgium and uh, weed rejoice. <laughs> Because New Belgium is joining America's hemp campaign. Uh, Fort Collins headquarters New Belgium Brewing is partnering with none other than Willie Nelson and his cannabis company and Vote Hemp. Uh, the recently launched American hemp campaign in order to rally support to change federal laws to allow commercial hemp growing in the U.S. Uh, from the brewery, they say beer is an agricultural agricultural product, and we see hemp as a potentially game changing ingredient in brewing. Absolutely, so, yeah. So we are proud to take a stand along with Willie and the Vote Hemp <laughs> folks to get these laws updated to benefit beer drinkers and farmers across the country. Nice. Uh, hemp is always on his mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he concluded with puff puff pass. <laughs> yeah. So uh, everybody support New Belgium. And yes, their, absolutely. And, and their stoner owners. Um, what else? Oh, my God. <laughs> Delaware. Delaware lawmakers have voted to ban powdered alcohol. Have you guys heard of this powdered alcohol crap? What is that? Is it's, that like it's rations exa- that they give to the military? <laughs> yeah, it's astronaut booze. <laughs> Send it to England. Yeah. <laughs> Before you ship off to Iraq, it's, here's, your, here's your powdered booze. Uh, it's this new thing that they've created. It's powdered alcohol, and you can either like eat it straight with a spoon or you can just add water. It sounds disgusting. Sounds awful. Yeah, it sounds horrendous. Uh, but anyways, Delaware is banning it because I guess people are like snorting powdered alcohol. <laughs> yeah, which uh, is, is always smart. Uh, what else? Oh, my God. This is great. I don't know how they're doing this because they're out of uh, beer in England, but there are a bunch of se- seagulls showing up in England my, drunk. My, 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 drunk seagulls. Drunk seagulls. I had to. Really? Uh, drunk seagulls. In England. Apparently, they're either finding local camps, uh, campgrounds with leftover beer or they're uh, eating the leftover like beer products from a local brewery. They are, they are unsure how they're showing up drunk. They thought these seagulls had botulism <laughs> until they threw up and felt better. Really? Oh. Yeah. These seagulls are booting and rallying. Can you oh, imagine man. the next morning these seagulls taking a dump on your car? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Not the beer dumps. That's nasty. Yeah, the oh, hangover God. shit. Yeah. That's, oh, God. That's the worst. <laughs> be, yeah, and are they like wow. crashing into stuff as they're flying around? Or? <laughs> no, they get, they're, they're walking stumbly. We'll post a uh, video up on our social media at The Unfiltered Gentleman, but they are just stumbling around and then throwing up. Oh man! It's a lot like Scott on a Tuesday night. That's yeah. That's yeah. awesome. It's I kind of like that. Day for me. It's also the plot of uh, Finding Nemo four. I, I yeah, watch yeah. it. Yeah, me too. I'm there. Uh, what else? Oh, pedestrian deaths. Who loves pedestrian deaths? Oh, I love them. Oh, okay. Oop. Finally, <laughs> being finally the driver. proper time. Yeah, the Uber driver. driver yeah. Loves yeah, the Uber driver. <laughs> Ten points. Very exciting for the passengers. Uh, according to a study, pedestrian deaths are up due to drunk walking. <laughs> I thought they were up due to Scott driving Uber. <laughs> I think they go together. <laughs> they do go hand in hand. Um, yeah, in 2016, one third of pedestrian deaths were caused or were uh, related to people being over the legal limit. The walkers huh. being over the legal limit. Uh, you know, that's kind of misleading. Sad. I bet about two thirds of them were dummies on their phone crashing into people. You yeah. know right. I mean? They like, just happened to be drunk. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. walking around on their phone, getting run over. Yeah. Learn how to drunk text. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong no with kidding. you? <laughs> Oh, if they just driven, they'd probably save their lives. Yeah, you know what it is? It's those vegan hipsters who don't get real food in their systems. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> and they go out and drinking. They, get drunk. Yeah. they have a beer at lunch or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have a, a, a Zima at lunch. <laughs> <laughs> they get trashed. Or it's those amateurs that don't eat all day and go out drinking with the commissioner of the booze league. <laughs> yeah, that's never a great idea. Um, and before we get to our last story, I think we should uh, check out our last beer here. This oh, one yeah. coming to us from Mikey. Uh, this is, you know what? We need some beer music for this one. From a hey, bottle this of here it is. Can, why don't people drink understand up my inebriation? It worked. Yeah, sorry, you can't drink. Beer science. So this is Track 7's Blood Transfusion. This one Mikey brought over. He wanted us to drink it, and I said, yes, please. Indeed. Yeah. Whatever makes Mikey happy. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever it takes. Yes. We're here to serve. Uh, from Track 7, which is up north, while most beers Im- immaculate, well, most beers, while most beers immaculate citrus flavor with a careful blend of hops, we've literally added fruit to the mix by tackling our IPA and adding pureed blood orange to give the IPA an extra punch. The pomegranate raspberry qualities, the blood oranges are known for uh, marry exceptionally well with the new school American hop profiles of IPAs, producing one of the most interesting and just plain fun beers we've ever crafted. Yeah, I'll dig it. Uh, 6.3% ABV, 55 IBUs, and the hops used were Cascade, Citra, Mosaic, and Magnum. And uh, no score from Beer Advocate. Thank you so much, Beer Advocate, for now. Oh, there it is, 3.93. From Beer Advocate. Wi-Fi was... This is the one I got right here, right? Yes, that is the correct one. Okay. Uh, Scott, if you'd like to try, it's this one right here. Uh, Yeah, you definitely get that blood orange, but it's... I'd like to try. (laughs) If you'd like to uh, put your pinkies up and give it a little taste. Uh, Yeah, it's not too fruity, which I can appreciate. We're not talking a fruity sculpin over here. Right. (laughs) Finishes real dry. It does. Nice hop on the back end. Uh, What do you guys think? I can dig it. Okay. How's how's the mouth feel? The mouth feel is um yeah, I mean, <laughs> Damn it, I've been exposed. Yeah, I know. Damn that should, it. That should be part of the drinking game. Anytime Dan says yeah. mouth feel because he doesn't know how to describe a beer. Shit. Yeah. Man, you guys are gonna kick me off the show, aren't you? If we can find someone. <laughs> yeah. You, you maybe get we'll get average size Nick over here. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, this is a good one. Track seven up in NorCal, they're they're always putting out good stuff. So uh, thank you to track seven and thank you to Mikey. Um, all right, our final news story of the day before we head on out of here. I had to. Oh, don't uh, look so sad. I, <laughs> everyone's crying. I had to get appropriate music for this one. All right. Oh yeah. Sets the mood. Super Trooper fans. All right, one. Okay. Right here. Uh, as as a bit of a stoner, I love Super Troopers. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I do that kind of stuff. All right, so cops in Indiana are accused of making drunk prank calls to 911. Cops are? Cops are. Cops. Yes. Off-duty cops in Indiana accused of making (laughs) drunk prank calls to 911 operators. Uh, A sheriff's deputy and a cop in Indiana allegedly made prank calls to an emergency dispatcher while getting boozed up at a house party (laughs) and were arrested after one call was traced to a phone owned by one of the officers. Oh, jeez. Hamilton County Sheriff's Deputy David Needham, 39, and Cicero Police Officer Bradley Gorgas, 40, were charged with one misdemeanor count of false reporting after they were drinking alcohol during a party at Gorgas' home on May 1st and decided to prank call the county's 911 dispatch center, uh, according to court documents. While disguising his voice, (laughs) Needham made the first call using his own phone and claimed to be a woman named Jessica... Oh, my God. Who needed help with a boyfriend who was stalking her. (laughs) He then told a dispatcher that a man was walking on a roadway just north of Cicero, which is a town of 4,800 people. It is unclear whether police responded to that report or not. About 10 minutes later, the other officer, Gorgas, reported 10 people being involved in a fight at a gas station. It's unclear what phone he used, but six officers responded to the location and found no disturbance. Needham and Gorgas later admitted to making the prank calls during a meeting with Indiana State Police investigators on May 31st. Uh, Needham said he had been drinking heavily and did not remember making the call until hearing his own voice on the 911 tape. <laughs> so he was that drunk. He was that drunk. Oh, man. He's that guy. Which city was this? This is uh, BFE, Indiana. I- I'm thinking it's probably the most action they've had in years. Oh, clearly. Either that or Jim Ursay driving through drunk. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, was it was it his own department that arrested him? Yeah. yeah. Was it really? One of them, yeah. He must have been the Farva or something then. You know what I mean? Because, <laughs> I mean, like, how, how did they not see this dude and say, like, oh, sorry, man. Like, you know, you're right. a dumbass. Don't no do kidding. that again. How, or How stupid are these people? Even I figured out the caller ID. Oh, yeah. It's terrible. They can see your phone number. Yeah. But I, I love that not only did he prank call them, he prank called them as a chick. <laughs> <laughs> this is off. I mean, this is Jessica. <laughs> There's a man stalking me. Like, who does that? It's oh, the worst. Sounds like something Wally would do. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. All right. That is it for Booze News. And, in fact, that is it for us. One last thank you to Mikey at Thanks, The Mikey. Local for having us. For uh, having some tasty beer. Thanks everybody who came out to yes, uh, thank you guys to watch. Thanks for the three of you that responded to the uh, the trivia game. You're yeah. my new favorite people. Yes, thank you three. Uh, Dan will meet you in the corner after oh, the show is over. Uh, it should be pleasuring. Mm. Just kidding. Uh, make what? sure you check. Us <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't on the rundown. I was yeah, I didn't see that here. What are you uh, talking about? Yeah. You penciled uh, that one in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I hand wrote it. You didn't see that? <laughs> no. So, uh, thank you guys, everybody, for coming out. I hope you had a blast. Uh, you can find us at theunfilteredgentleman.com, as well as the Unfiltered Gentleman on all the social medias, except for Twitter, at Unfiltered Gents. Uh, you can give us a, a drunk dial. Drunk dial us. 805 805- 538 beer. It's 2337. It's hard to remember. Uh, also, make sure you come out and check out the local in Camarillo. It's the local Camarillo.com. That's easy enough to remember. And the local Camarillo on social media. I think that's it. Did we forget anything? Uh, anybody needs a ride, give me a few more drinks and uh, I'll be ready to go. Yeah, Scott's about four <laughs> beers away from being able to drive. Yeah. I say he's only at a .09 right now. Probably right. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's double that and he's ready to hit the wheel. So uh, thanks, everyone, for listening. Thanks for coming. Everybody, it's hot as balls out there. Stay hydrated. And on that note, good night, everybody.